to welcome you to our sixth annual Chime concert. I really, I, I can't believe that we're still having this. One of the very first things that I implemented here, because as a music educator, hi, as a music educator, it's very difficult to help with young people and to help answer questions for older people and to try to work on your own instrument and then to try to put together an actual recital is sometimes impossible. And for those you know in our community who are band directors and choir directors and any number of other uh, workers with, with uh, students, you know that they work their heads off just all the time. So I'm thrilled that we still have this, and not only do we still have this concert, I already have people lined up for next year. They were so sorry they couldn't come tonight. So um, we're really glad for that. And I hope that you tell everybody that you know to come next year because the quality that we have is unbelievable. Um, what I'd like to do is give you the information about those folks who are going to perform tonight. i just give you a little bit about them before we start, and then I will be popping up after each one, and we'll just let the music play for the rest of the evening. Um, so I'll start kind of backwards with Paul Suckerman. How many of you know Paul? If you've done anything with TYA, if you've gone to Eastburg High School, if you've gone to a restaurant in Elkhart Lake, any number of things in this area Paul has done, and he's, what can we say, he's brilliant. He's a brilliant educator, and the students just love him. He's, he's like a diamond for us. He's so talented, as I'm sure you all know, and he's good with children. He's good with every age of student, young kids, older kids. And if you know him really well, you know that, and it's ridiculous that he's so talented. He's right there. He loves it when I talk about him. Um, so we just wouldn't have this at all without Paul Suckerman. Uh, next, we have before him. Oh, thrilled to have this. Fabian Kamar is a graduate of Lakeland College, I believe, but what is now Lakeland University. And he is a director of the Sheboygan Symphony Chorus and also the, the younger groups, the SAIS Chorus. So we are so glad to have that connection with Lakeland. We are so glad to continue our relationship with the uh, Sheboygan Symphony in this way, too. And he will be accompanied by Mike Slutsky, who is uh, playing guitar, accompanying him on the guitar. Mike has his own studio. He's had lots and lots of students. So he's also an educator in Plymouth. So if you need to learn guitar or something, Mike's going to be that person you want to check out. Um, then we have uh, Trisha Martin. And if you've been to any of our concerts here, you know Mrs. Martin. She is so valuable to us. We are so thrilled to have her as a staff member. She is the accompanist for our chorus. She also helps our music majors to be able to make it through the end of each semester. They have to do kind of a test on their own instrument. So she helps them with that. And this is really important that we get that extra set of hands and extra set of ears. And she has a wonderful musical quality for the students and she knows how to express what they need to do. So love having Mrs. Martin here and certainly to use her talent on the stage. Uh, we're just lucky to have that. Finally. I'm really honored tonight because we have had students in the past, our students, on the stage, on the chime stage, but we've not had two at the same time. So I'm really honored to say to you that we have two excellent students, and I can tell you they're excellent. I don't care what they do in the other classes. They're in my theory class, both of them, and they're both excellent students in theory class. Um, so, you know, I know that they have to be great in everything because they're great in my class. And uh, they are also excellent violinists. But they're not really here for that. They're on this stage tonight to perform for you because they're teachers. They are already starting sharing their passion for music, sharing their passion for the violin with their own students, building, starting to build their own music studios. So we'd like to start with them. Would you join me, please, in welcoming Ms. Sarah Cronick and Ms. Rachel Rice. Thank you. 
um, the, first, uh, the first piece we're going to do um, is by uh, a composer named Matyash Shaver. Um, he was born in Hungary, um, but he worked throughout uh, Europe. Uh, he was very versatile. Um, he was very well respected as, as a classical composer, um, but was also um, uh, he was one of the first to found a formal um, program uh, to study jazz in 1929 um, in Germany, of all places. Um, of course, that ended very quickly um, once Hitler started to come to power. Um, but this was a very um, really thing that he was, he was uh, interested in and promoting. He was also very involved in the promotion of folk music from around the world, um, similar to uh, Kodai and Bartok, who he was associated with. So this is uh, this piece is called J'ai de son vie, which means I went down. Um, and just a, a quick translation. Um, I went down to my garden to pick rosemary. Um, nice poppy, my ladies, nice new poppy. I hadn't even picked three sprigs when a nightingale uh, laid it onto my hand. A nice poppy, my ladies, nice new poppy. He said three words in Latin that men aren't worth anything. Nice poppy, my ladies, nice new poppy. But men aren't worth anything, and young men are worth even less. Nice poppy, my ladies, nice poppy. Of the ladies, he didn't tell me anything, but of damsels, he spoke very highly. Nice poppy, my ladies, nice poppy.
most famous for this song. The story goes that uh, he wrote it with his wife while they were playing word games on a road trip um, moving out to LA in California. And um, this song actually ended up helping to pay for his first house out there. Um, later, of course, it was made famous by uh, the one and only Nat King Cole, which was my first introduction to it. So this is Route 66.
very special audience. I'm not positive of that, but you seem like a very special audience. So uh, I'm going to play this next tune, and um, towards the end, I'm going to do a little improvisation, and you're all going to help me, whether you like it or not. What we're going to do is I'm going to give you some pitches to sing, and you're going to help me do the end portion of this. You're also going to do some clapping, not necessarily at the end of the song, <laughs> but in the song. I will cue you on that. But uh, for now, this next bit is uh, Chikoria's Crystal Silence, which is usually performed on a fluffle phone, which is 25 feet long, and it really needs a virtuosic performance because you have to blow in both ends at the same time. <laughs> Very difficult, but I'm going to play it on piano. I'm uh, more comfortable. My younger days I could run that far. <laughs>
Give yourself a round of applause. Please, one more round of applause for all of the performers. Thank you, Stan.